Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Doctor Strange is a 2016 superhero film based on the same named Marvel Comics character. You guys probably already knew that, so what's the news? Disney refuses to cut LGBTQ scene in this movie. Keep watching this video to learn more. Before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Which movie is it? Doctor Strange is a 2016 superhero film based on the same named Marvel Comics character. It is the 14th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, produced by Marvel Studios, and released by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures MCU. The film stars Benedict Cumberbatch as neurosurgeon Stephen Strange, as well as Chiwetel Ejiofor, Rachel McAdams, Benedict Wong, Michael Stolberg, Benjamin Bratt, Scott Adkins, Mads Mikkelsen, and Tilda Swinton and was directed by Scott Derrickson from a screenplay he co-wrote with John Spates and C. Robert Cargill. Strange learns the mystic arts following a career-ending automobile accident in the film. The movie's historical place before Paramount stepped in. Various versions of a Doctor Strange film adaptation have been in production since the mid-1980s, until Marvel Studios' film rights were bought by Paramount Pictures in April 2005. In June 2010, Thomas Dean Donnelly and Joshua Oppenheimer were hired to develop a screenplay. Derrickson was recruited to direct in June 2014, with Spades rewriting the screenplay. In December 2014, Cumberbatch was cast in the titular role, which necessitated a timetable shift to accommodate his other obligations. This freed up time for Derrickson to concentrate on the screenplay alone, for which he enlisted Cargill's assistance. The film's principal filming started in Nepal in November 2015, then moved to England and Hong Kong before completing in April 2016 in New York City. What's new about this sequel? Doctor Strange had its global debut on October 13, 2016 in Hong Kong, and was released in the United States in November 4, 2016, as part of the MCU's Phase 3. The film received critical acclaim for its actors, visual effects, and musical soundtrack, grossing over $677 million worldwide. The film was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. On May 6, 2022, a sequel, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, will be released. In the movie, Strange enlists the assistance of his comrade Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme, and the Avengers' most powerful Scarlet Witch, Wanda, to restore a world where everything is changing. However, a horrible danger looms over mankind and the whole cosmos that they can no longer overcome with their own might. What's more unexpected is that the universe's greatest menace resembles Doctor Strange. Who requested for an LGBTQ scene to be cut? According to the rumors, the next Marvel tentpole, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, has been prohibited in Saudi Arabia because of a homosexual character portrayed by Xochitl Gomez. The actress, who played America Chavez in The Babysitter's Club, makes her Marvel Cinematic Universe debut in this film. Disney is hesitant to erase just 12 seconds from the picture in which Gomez's character alludes to her two parents, according to Nawaf al-Saban, Saudi Arabia's general supervisor of movie classification, via The Guardian. Al-Saban said, It's simply her talking about her parents, since she has two moms, and passing anything like this in the Middle East is really difficult. We gave it to the distributor, who sent it to Disney, who has informed us that they are not interested. Doctor Strange 2 would never be prohibited, Al-Saban told AFP, adding, There's no cause to ban the picture. It's a simple change. They have so far refused. We haven't, however, shut the door. We're still working on it. Other Muslim countries have followed suit. The Hollywood Reporter said on Friday that there were unsubstantiated indications that the picture had been banned in Kuwait. Advanced tickets were no longer available in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, or Qatar. However, they were still available in the United Arab Emirates. When asked about the picture, which stars Benedict Cumberbatch, an AMC Cinema staffer in Saudi Arabia stated it had been withdrawn on Monday. This isn't the first time a Marvel film has run afoul of Saudi authorities. The Eternals, which stars a homosexual couple, attracted edit demands from Gulf nations such as Saudi Arabia in November. The film was not shown because Disney declined to make the edits. In late 2017, Saudi Arabia abolished a decades-long ban on all theaters as part of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's series of social changes aimed at shaking up the traditionally conservative monarchy. In summary, 
Homosexuality is punishable by death in Saudi Arabia, which is recognized for its severe interpretation of Islamic Sharia law, which serves as the foundation of its legal system. Ultimately, Saudi Arabian censors did not give a permission to distribute the picture in the kingdom because the revisions they wanted were not accepted by Disney, according to sources quoted in multiple magazines' initial articles on the situation. The film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was supposed to be released on May 5 in Saudi Arabia and other Gulf nations. Movies about or featuring sex, homosexuality, or religious problems are often trimmed in the area to comply with censorship standards. Due to a scene involving a homosexual kiss, the Marvel tentpole Eternals was banned in the area last year. In the United States, Disney's position on LGBTQ rights has sparked debate. Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis, signed a bill on Friday that repeals a regulation that has enabled Disney to function as a municipal government in Orlando, home to Disney World theme park for decades. The action was the latest escalation in a spat with Florida authorities, which began in March when the corporation criticized the passing of a legislation prohibiting school instruction on sexual orientation. That brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoyed the content, then do leave a like. So until next time, take care and goodbye.